Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is a little bit different. I am currently headed to the thrift store to find some home decor to either flip or restyle to kind of work for my personal style, but also maybe recreate some trending home decor items. So let's head to the thrift store. I'm going into the Salvation Army now. It seems pretty busy, so hopefully we can find some good stuff. So the first thrift store was the Salvation Army and I was pretty successful there. I only spent about $19, but I did get um, two clothing items as well. Um, I don't know if you guys would be interested in seeing that, but I could show you that as well. I got the decor I wanted to recreate and I'm going to head to one more location. I'm going to go to the Habitat for Humanity. They have a lot of larger pieces there, but they also have decor as well. So don't forget to check there if you're looking for just some smaller items to style shelves with or to even spruce up. So I'll let you know what we find there. I just finished at the restore and I actually found quite a few things. I didn't think I was going to find that many. I had to get a little creative and I thought of a really cool idea. I hope it works out. Um, now I just need to go get some coffee and go to the hardware store to pick up some supplies and I'll show you guys everything I got and start making them over. So it's now the next day and I am back home. I want to share with you guys super quick what I got and how I'm going to restyle it to work with my style or turn it into something a little bit more modern that can work with a lot of your guys style. First location I went to was the Salvation Army and I did pick up this handmade knitted blanket. I feel like this could be styled super cute. It was only four dollars and like I said it's handmade so this is super cozy. It's giving me all the like cabin kind of vibes, but even in a nursery, this would be cute. I'm gonna share with you guys how to style this. And then I ended up picking up this taller vase here. I love the stoneware kind of pottery look. I'm just not a huge fan of this blue. So I am gonna go ahead and change that out and share that with you guys. And then I ended up picking up this little camera. Um, this is actually going to be for a room makeover that's coming up very soon, so I'll share that with you guys then. And then I also picked up some books at that location, and I didn't pick them up to read. I am going to use these to style. 
So that was everything from the first location. The second location was the Habitat for Humanity, and I did pick up a few little items there. I really like the shape of this candle holder here, and these candles look a little old, but they could totally be replaced and styled super cute on a coffee table or bookshelf. And then I got this little bowl kind of vase from there as well. This was only $2, and I got this because I really like the shape of this. I believe either CB2 or West um, has these kind of bowls on their website. Um, they don't really have the blue on them, but I can totally switch this out and recreate that with this piece here. And then I ended up picking up this little shelf. I wasn't too sure about it at first, but then I thought this would be super cute styled, maybe with like a vase on it or a plant somewhere that you might not have a lot of room. You might not be too sure what to put there. I think this could, could be really cute for that. The last piece that I got from the Habitat for Humanity was this piece of marble. And this said it was $4, or I believe it's a quartz, sorry. It is a quartz. It's one of their samples from maybe a cabinet company. And this was actually on sale. I got it for a little bit less, but it's just this kind of off-white cream color. And when I saw these, they had a whole stack of them. I thought that this would be super cute as a riser. These are super trendy for just putting in your bathroom to put your soaps on or in your kitchen or maybe a little coffee bar you want to raise up your syrups so I thought what could I use from this restore for the legs they had some like piping and plumbing stuff I ended up finding these super cute little gold plumbing pieces I don't know I thought to use these as legs would be super cute so I'm thinking of just attaching those on the bottom and then I'll have a little riser I'm really hoping this works out and if it does I might go back to get a few more because I think these would be super cute styled in so many different ways so now that I've shared everything I picked up with you guys I did want to share what I picked up last weekend at the value village i only got a few pieces that i'm going to be making over one of them being this giant vase i love the shape of this i'm not a huge fan of this detail i mean i don't hate it or anything i just think i could redo it to fit my style a lot better but the shape of this is perfect and super trendy so i'm excited to make that over I also just picked up this little mug holder. I think these are super trendy right now. And although I love green, I think I would like more of a sage green or something a little bit lighter. And this was only $4. So I will be sharing how I repaint that. The first piece I'm gonna go ahead and make over and flip is this piece of marble. Again, this is just like a sample size. It had a ton, must have been donated. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my piping pieces. I just have the four of them here. They also had copper ones, which were super cute as well, if you wanted to go for that look, but I just felt like these were a little bit more sturdy. I thought they would be great to test out. I'm gonna go ahead and use some star bond glue. This stuff is super strong and should hold these metal pieces to the legs. To apply it, I'm actually just going to open it up, if I can, and I'm just going to use a paintbrush to apply the glue. I'm going to go ahead and flip this over and just apply the glue to the edge. Here is the pedestal styled in my bathroom. As you can see, it turned out and the legs are really sturdy because they are a super heavy metal. It looks super cute and I'm definitely going to be using this in my bathroom for my soap. So for these stack of three books, it was $4 I believe and it was funny, the cashier was I think talking about this book and I was wondering if I can let her know how it is after I read it, but sadly I'm just going to be using these for the bindings. This one in particular is a super nice green and I believe I have a solid black here and then this one, I didn't realize this one was glued on like that so hopefully it doesn't wreck the binding. So this one will definitely have to go in the middle of the stack, just so you don't see the paper there. But you can kind of see, you can literally use so many different types of books for this and different color schemes. I just wanted something a bit more simple, blacks with the green. I can pair these on a shelf. 
Next up, I'm going to go ahead and make over this vase. Like I said before, it's the perfect shape, super trendy, and I think redone in a different color, it'll look really nice. I'm kind of going for that clay pottery type vibe for it. So I'm going to go ahead and use some dry decks, and I'm just going to rub this all over the vase. So I have my gloves on, and I'm just going to go ahead and smear this dry decks all over this vase. So this dry dex goes on pink and then dries white, so then you know it's ready to be painted. I'm not putting it on in any particular order, I just want to create a lot of texture to give me that pottery look. I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry and come back to it. So for this larger vase here, you can see this design even came through, like the dyes from it came through the dry decks. The paint should cover it all up. If not, I can go ahead and add some primer to it. I'm gonna be using a pretty brush and the color Collingwood by Benjamin Moore. It's just larger vase has dried I'm gonna go ahead and just actually rub some dirt all over it to really give it that old antique kind of look so I'm just gonna wipe it on and then wipe it off and it'll start to get into the cracks styled i love how the dirt adds so much texture to this piece and i think this is probably my favorite flip from this video let me know down below what piece was your favorite um, i just love the texture and this piece is really what inspired me to do this video because when i saw the shape of it i knew it could look a lot better and work with my style for this little piece here this could be a little bowl key holder um, even candle holder, but I'm going to be doing the same dry decks technique just because I want to cover up this blue area and give it a little bit more texture to look like these really popular bowls here that are a lot more. So I'm just going to smear it all over the blue area just to really give me that textured look. I'm just gonna let that dry and then I can go ahead and paint. Now that this bowl has dried, I'm gonna go ahead and do two coats of paint in the color Collingwood by Benjamin Moore, and this is in their advanced line in a pearl finish. I'm just using a purdy brush to apply my paint right onto this piece. It did take about an hour to two hours for the dry decks to fully dry because I added it on there so thick. bookshelf here i think it looks super cute and adds some dimension to this styling and i love all the texture on it and the funky shape i think this piece will be very versatile and work in many different spaces and just add a little something to a bookshelf or a coffee table it's also a great spot to put your keys or you could even put a plant in here to make over this base here i am going to be adding a little bit of that dry dex technique again this is by far one of my favorite techniques to really get that pottery look but i'm just going to go ahead and add it over the blue areas and i'm going to leave this kind of ashy gray color on the bottom because i think it'll still go really good with the new design so this one i'm just going to smear on pretty light because i don't want to add too too much texture 
When you're thrifting, really pay attention to the shapes of pieces and kind of how they're built because a lot of things, if you don't like the color, you can easily change that out and you can really get a nice piece. And you're also helping the planet by saving these pieces from the landfill because sadly, if they don't get bought at the thrift store, they are headed to the dump. There we go. So for this vase here, I'm gonna go ahead and use this really pretty green color. I think this combo will be super subtle and add a nice little fun touch. And this green color is beautiful. So this is the color Dried Basil by Benjamin Moore. And this is in their pearl finish. I'm just gonna go ahead and give this a nice thick coat, making sure I'm getting into all that texture that we added. I just have this little green vase kind of styled here with a little fake plant in it. I think this would be super cute too with maybe some kitchen utensils like a spatula by your stove, maybe some wooden ones. I think those elements would be super cute with this piece. To make over this little shelf, I'm just gonna go ahead and sand it down because I'm not a huge fan of this orange stain and then I will restain this piece. To sand it down, I'm just gonna go ahead and use my surf prep sander. I have their sanding screens on here and I believe this is 120 grit. So now that the shelf is sanded down, I'm gonna go ahead and stain it. I have a custom blend here. You could really make this with any uh, brown and light stain like a white. So to coat this little shelf, because it's just gonna be used for decorative purposes, I'm just gonna go ahead and add some wax over top of the stain. I did let it dry. So I'm just wiping this on with a wax brush, just buffing it in the wood and wiping it back. So I don't have this piece secured to the wall, but I just wanted to show you guys how it looks now. It's a lot more muted and less orange, and I just think it would be super cute on a little blank wall or a spot that you're really just not sure what to put. You can really style anything on this, and I love the shape of it, and I think it's super cute. I'm gonna go ahead and give this little mug stand a little update. You could really paint this any color you want. I'm gonna go ahead and use the same green that I used for the vase. This is the dried basil color in the advanced line and this is in their pearl finish it's a really pretty sage green and i already went ahead and cleaned this piece down and gave it a little scuff sand before i started painting Now I'm just gonna go ahead and let that dry and I'll come back and do a second coat. Here is the little mug holder all styled up at the coffee bar. You can see I have some larger mugs and even little espresso mugs and there's still room for two more. So it does fit quite a few mugs on it and it does look really nice with these clear ones because the green really stands out. had fun recreating and flipping these smaller decor items i hope you guys test out some of these diys yourself let me know down below what piece was your favorite and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you're not already i will see you on wednesday with another furniture flipping video